So a common question I get pretty often is, can you raise capital to launch an e-commerce store? And the answer is actually no. It's usually no. And the reason for that is because in this day and age, launching an e-commerce store doesn't take a whole lot of money or a whole lot of time for that matter. So I figured that we could just do that pretty quickly. So I'm gonna get the team to launch an e-commerce store in under eight hours. Guys, we are gonna launch an e-commerce today. Okay, so like I said, building an e-commerce shop in this day and age is really not that much work. That's not our core business, but we are gonna build a quick one and just put some t-shirts and stickers and whatever slide bean swag, which will actually be for sale if you wanna try it out. But the, the main point is we can actually build this in under a day. So I've enlisted the help of George, who usually designs presentations, is not a developer. He's a graphic designer, fantastic graphic designer. But the point is we don't even need to code for this. So he's gonna be taking part of the visuals and I'm gonna be kind of plugging wires in the background just to prove to you that the tools to do it are out there, that they're not that expensive, they're not that hard to use, and you can get it done within a day. So before actually jumping on building this site, we decided to spend some time building a logo because if you're starting from scratch, you need a logo. Now, logo and brand design is a whole world, a whole industry that's way beyond our scope. But the first slide bean logo we ever had, we actually designed ourselves and our current logo was designed by an agency, but we only paid that after we were operating with five digit monthly revenue. And the point of this little story is that your first logo doesn't need to be perfect. It needs to be quick, it needs to get the job done of showing something about your brand. You can usually build that with internet tools or pay a small fee for a designer to come up with something that's interesting. Now, here we were obviously biased to pick something that resembled our existing brand, but a good tip to follow if you're creating something from scratch is to ensure that you have a visual line that you can continue to use across other visual elements on your website. Let's talk for a sec about domains. So, of course, .com domains are still front and center. They're still the coolest domain. And even though .io and .co domains have started to be useful, .com domains are always gonna be cooler. But snatching a .com domain in this day and age is pretty hard. Plugging a domain to your website is really not that hard. Plenty of guides online, you have to program some DNS servers and redirect some things, but it's not a big deal. I'm not gonna get into it. One thing that I would wanna get into it is the value of these .com domains. So I met the CEO of a company called The.com, like as in The.com. And we're actually doing a fireside chat in a couple of weeks just to talk, to hear his story on how he's snatched such a domain because those stories are usually quite funny on how they managed to get these domains. So tune in for that. That's part of our fireside chat series, uh, link in the description. So I'm getting a free domain here, so I'm just gonna grab it if I can. Uh, let's see if Slide Bean Swag is available. Yeah. Great, let's do it. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna do a one year domain. That's that's it, great. I'm just gonna use my favorite method, good. Awesome. Um, so one other advantage of getting a domain through here is that it automatically connects to Google Workspace mailbox, which I find very useful. If you've never used Google Workspace, it essentially works like a Gmail account that's literally for your job. So no ads and same user interface that we're all familiar with with Gmail. We already have one, so I'm not gonna add anyone. We're just gonna connect our existing email address, but just know that this can do it. So with the domain purchased and connected, we set out to build the site. Now, I, I see a trend of people wanting to build entire websites and entire stores from scratch so that it's custom and different and, and special. But truly, for a lean startup experiment for your first website, you should be efficient more than anything. And you should validate your concept with the least amount of effort possible. This is lean startup theory 101. So you'll notice that we've been using Taylor Brands here, which let us go from logo to domain to website. And then George quickly customized this template to match the color of our logo and our brand. And we had some cool imagery that we repurposed for this header section. What we're doing here is adjusting the height of the site so that the hero section, that call to action doesn't go beyond the fold. Now, if that all sounded like gibberish, let me explain. A good practice for any website is to make sure that when a user loads the page, they can see the main components of that page without having to scroll. So in this case, we have the main message plus the images as well as the main button or the main call to action you want the users to perform. And all of that is the hero section and all of that should be visible without any interaction from the user, without any scroll. 
So another really cool thing that you can do from Taylor Brands is just generate a bunch of swag and you know using the logo and the branding that you created, it'll automatically generate a bunch of different swag options for you, like t-shirts and caps and whatever. You know, one thing you could do is just print a bunch of these, keep them in storage and just ship them to your customers as they order them. But that's of course expensive and requires an upfront investment. So one alternative that I think is fantastic is this platform called Printful. So with Printful, you what you can essentially do is connect this Printful platform with your website on through the background, either with a spreadsheet or with direct integrations. And then when someone orders a piece of swag from your website, what they will do is they will go ahead and produce it. So they'll print it for you and ship it to the customer and they will only bill you for that one item. So obviously margins aren't great because you're printing item by item. So it's not the maximum margins that you can get on e-commerce. But as a lean startup approach, launching a store in a day and being able to fulfill your orders, literally if your customers start ordering tomorrow, this just works. And then in about six and a half hours, we were done. Website live, website connected, and functional. Now, Taylor Brands is a platform that I've used in the past for quick logo or website experiments like this. It doesn't necessarily need to be tied to a store, but it is a super fast and efficient way to get a website out there. And they do a bunch of other things as well, from allowing you to register your business, to business cards, to social media posts, to trademark services, and of course, that domain purchase. And they offered to give you guys a limited, exclusive 20% discount if you try it out using the link in the description. Thanks a lot to Taylor Brands for sponsoring today's video. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you.